Uh, Assalamu alaikum viewers, uh, very good evening to all of you. We have just installed uh, our uh, new ventilator which we have uh, bought from Cardio Labs. This is the Oxyvent 9C Plus and this is the basic model which they have. It has adult and pediatric modes and along with that ventilation modes, it has volume control, pressure control and uh, intermittent uh, mechanical ventilation modes also. Uh, so we'll, I'll just go ahead and uh, start and uh, show you how the ventilator works and uh, what are the different modes. Uh, this, the upper piece is the monitor, is the display monitor. Okay, it will show you all the values. The lower stand which you are seeing on which the monitor rests is the compressor. As you can see, there is a graduated pressure gauge here, right? And this here is the uh, slot for our humidifier if we want to you know, install one. So here we see the knob which controls the FiO2 that is the fraction of inspiration, inspirated air in which the oxygen uh, will be uh, mixed, will be blended. So because this is a compressor based model, uh, whatever uh, air or uh, inspiratory breath that the patient is taking will be a blended one. It will be air and oxygen mixed so as to prevent oxygen toxicity to the patient himself. Now this is the inspiratory valve that is the pressure from the ventilator will come from here and this is the expiratory valve so that is why we have placed an HME filter for the expiratory valve okay. so as to not to contaminate the internal circuitry. I will go ahead and start the ventilator. So there are two connections. One is this is for the uh, monitor that are display, and the other one is for the compressor. Okay, and we have switched on both of them. We'll just I'll just show you. Yeah, this is the display switch. After which you get the reboot of the display and here we have here you can see for new patient last patient settings for the new patient last patient and modes so whenever we start a ventilator for new patient we take the new patient settings and it has both adult and pediatric and as per weight it has a pre set values so if you are handling a case that is uh, an emergency and it is not an elective ventilation for example road traffic accidents which come unconscious or respiratory arrests you can directly put in the weight of the patient and as you can see here for 50 kg you can see the values here the tidal volume the beats per minute the peep the trigger and the inspiratory expiratory ratio Okay, once I change the weight to 60 kg, even this changes. You can see tidal volume increase from 375 to 450. Dust all will change, either change or remain same according to the preset values. Right. So we have both adult and pediatric. Pediatric starts from well 20 kgs, adult from 60 kgs. Right. And modes. This has, as I said, volume mode, pressure mode, and non-invasive mode. So volume mode is volume controlled ventilation and uh, intermittent mechanical ventilation that is volume controlled. Next, in pressure modes, we have pressure controlled ventilation and we have intermittent mechanical ventilation in that pressure control. And then we have pressure spontaneous ventilation or CPAP, that is continuous positive airway pressure ventilation. SIMV is spontaneous intermittent mechanical ventilation we have both volume control and pressure control in these settings now non invasive we have the bipap that is uh, by uh, went um, by intermittent pre, uh, by uh, biphasic intermittent positive airway pressure ventilation biphasic intermittent positive airway uh, positive airway pressure ventilation st mode and we have hfnc that is high flow nasal cannula or nasal oxygen flow right so what we choose whatever mode of ventilations we want okay it depends on the type of disease that a patient is having now as i said 
if an emergency patient comes so we need uh, pressure control and we choose pressure control and start confirm right so moving on we will now start the compressor before that i would like to show you something we have connected the airway inlet and here this is showing the oxygen pressure which the ventilator is getting that is 65.4 psi okay now this you can see is zero because the compressor is shut off okay now when we search or switch on the compressor this will also show its uh, pre pressure separately and the switch is obviously at the back now these are two switches now because this is a compressor so it needs an mcv it has an white mcv so this is on below is off now this is in off position we switch it on this is important you have to switch the mcv on first then you switch the green button on this is now it's reverse in this way the off is upper part on is in the lower part so switch it on these are filters air filters and water filters so as the patient is getting oxygen there is expiratory uh, water or humidified air that is being circulated through the ventilator so the water in the inspired oxygen and the expired breath is trapped in these filters okay. these are open below so when we switch off the compressor for about 10 15 seconds all the trapped water comes out right so now we have switched on the compressor as you can see the air column is showing a pressure of 61 psi so the pressure in both air and oxygen is supposed to be below 70 psi and it will depend the air which is being given to the patient will depend on the fio2 which we set right so here you can see it starts from 21 up to 100 percent this O2 percentage 21 percent why it starts from 21 percent not zero percent because the normal air which we breathe has 21 percent of oxygen it does not have zero percent oxygen so even if we are giving just the air O2 that is if we are not supplementing it with extra oxygen from the oxygen inlet it will still give you it will still give the patient 21 percentage of oxygen if the patient requires more oxygen then we supplement oxygen in the blended air so why do we need ventilators we need ventilators to uh, help or assist the patient in respiration Understand? so the respiratory system when it is overloaded when it is diseased or when it is not getting signals from the from the respiratory center as in case of respirate as in case of head traumas or in case of chronic long standing brain tumors metal oblongata tumors which are pressing on the respiratory centers and then and then they are uh, shutting off the signal in those cases we need to we need to assist the patient with the ventilation we need to expand the lungs and for that for expanding the lungs we need a specific peep that is positive end expiratory pressure so we need pressure to expand the lungs and this is where ventilator kicks in so just giving them oxygen in unconscious patients in patients who have diseased respiratory system will not help we'll have to give them a ventilation support we'll have to give them pressure because the lungs will not expand simply by just giving oxygen supplemental oxygen we'll need to deliver that oxygen at a certain pressure right so here you can see the pressure gauge which has gone up it matches the pressure seen in the screen there it was showing 61 here it is about 60 right so this is all friends uh, hope you found this video uh, helpful you now we'll discuss about the modes of ventilation and different diseases in which they are used uh, in another video this was just to show you how a ventilator works in brief will show you again when there is a patient uh, when we put a patient on ventilator, ventilator either elective or emergency and how we use the specific settings for that particular patients okay thank you and have a nice day
प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल इफ यू फाइंड दिस यूजफुल फॉर मोर वीडियोज टू कम थैंक यू